Welcome back. It's just the nicest way to start a Wednesday. We're doing a food and wine pairing today in the kitchen. Uh, Linda Coles joins us from the Sahali Liquor Store. Good to see you. Nice to see you again. Yes, Susan. thank you. And the kitchen manager from the Fox and Hounds, Floyd Ondang, joins us as well today. Good to see you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so we are pairing a few things today. And we're going to take a moment as well at the end to talk a little bit about October being Thanksgiving and what kind of wines are crisp and delicious for the Thanksgiving season as well. Okay. So to start though, we have some delicious food and we're gonna pair them with some wine. So should we start with uh, Linda? You can tell me a little bit about the wine that you're gonna pair? Sure, we're, today we're going to have um, the Dirty Laundry Gewürztraminer and they have three Gewürztraminers and this one is kind of in the middle of the road in sweetness, it's a zero one. So Gewürztraminers, because they're spicy and aromatic, they go perfect with, um, we're gonna have a curry dish that I'll let Floyd talk about. Um, so the spiciness of the wine matches well with the spiciness of the dish. Let's hold that right up so we can get a look at it. This is a beautiful um, wine bottle. Dirty Laundry, of course, uh, has made quite a name for themselves. Fantastic marketing. Um, they're in Summerland and they have a marketing girl named Judy who's um, just fantastic. Mm -hmm. They have wines called Not So Naughty and mm -hmm. just cool names and great marketing and okay. fantastic wine. I love Gewurz Demeanor, so I'm going to be happy to try that one out. Tell us a little bit about what we're pairing it with today, Floyd. We're going to pair it with a, a chicken vindaloo flatbread. It's a lighter lunch. Um, it's going to be featured this month on uh, Mondays, and it is also going to be on our new menu coming up in the fall. What is a vindaloo? It's a curry, a spicy curry sauce. Yeah. So and where have I been, basically? This has always been around. Never heard uh, of a vindaloo before. So. I think it's always been around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just, I think it's... Those flavors are just coming out into the market now. Like I think they're just more popular now. Okay. Really bold flavors. Delicious. So uh, who made the choice to combine these two together? Uh, well, I decided that I that we would do something with um, curry and mm. Gewurztraminer because it's just such a perfect um, food pairing. And then um, we decided on beef and a Cabernet, a big red. So yummy, yummy. Two of my favorite combinations. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, give, give this white a try, and then we'll have a little bit of the vindaloo, as they say. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Oh yes, it is delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo woo. Oh. Woo -woo. It's called woo-woo. Yeah. <laughs> and should we just bite into this? Let's, we have to try I the pairing, so. of course. Mm. Uh, okay. I, I, I pick, pick it up. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's Look the way to do it. Look at this scrunch, scrunch dilly -ish. Okay, here we go. Oh. Hope it's not too spicy. Mm -mm. It's delicious. The curry is lovely. The cilantro on the top, the fresh, a little bit of vegetable. Mm -hmm. I love cilantro. A nice pairing together. Mm -hmm. Really nice flavors, like the crispness and almost a sweetness with the Gewurz demeanor, and then a little bit of spicy. Very mm. nice. Very good choice. Mm hmm. Delicious. I'll put this down. I never take more than one bite anymore because otherwise you look like you're eating so much on the <laughs> yeah. air. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's talk, let's hear about the Killer Cab that we have here as well. Okay, well, um, Killer Cab is kind of a unique wine because it um, is from what they call a garage winery. And um, so the grapes come from California and Washington and um, the wine is made in New, West, New Westminster. So... Um, um, the wine's made in BC, but the grapes come from California and Washington. So it's kind of a new thing. A lot of people are doing it now. Is and that right? mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a, a big, bold red, um, fantastic wine, and only available in private stores. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you, you offered it's a Sahali Liquor mm -hmm. Store, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've not heard of that before. I didn't know that uh, they were making wines in New Westminster. Yeah. All places. <laughs> hmm. So probably not the nicest uh, tasting room, but. Uh, Great wine, they make fantastic wines. Do they? Okay. Give this a try. Roast, these are like little miniature roast beefs in, in, uh, in Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding. pudding yeah. Yum, yum, I love Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. And a horseradish mayo. Mm -hmm. They look hard to eat. <laughs> yeah. Wine is delicious, very full-bodied, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. very, very good. That is a good... I think be very good with that. Mm -hmm. I, I tend to find that I will drink more red wines in the colder months mm -hmm. and more of the crisper whites in the spring and summer. I'm mm -hmm. still into whites right now, but I can tell you, that's a great cab to think mm -hmm. about for the colder weather, for sure. Yeah, perfect with a steak or anything yeah. with roast beef. Mm -hmm. or... Okay, let's bite into these. This could be a bit trickier. This could be. Well, let's go for it. I'm going to pick this right up, and I'm going to actually put a little bit of the horseradish on the top. Almost looks like a cupcake. 
<laughs> it almost does, but um, <laughs> better for you, maybe, maybe not. Look at that. That is actually quite delicious looking. That's a lot. Is this horseradish strong? So I, I know I had it. It's not that strong. I'm still be able to I'd talk say after this. Medium. Okay. Don't let me eat alone, guys. Okay. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That horseradish is delightful, is it? and it's not too strong. Mm. And good with red. Do I have gravy on my nose? I feel no. Like no. <laughs> Let me try a little bit more. Uh, Again, this is a very well put together combination, you guys. Delicious. So I'm the only one eating, again. There's this killer cab, I love it. It's very, very full body. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. lots of vanilla and berries and a uh, little coffee, even a little bit of chocolate. Mm -hmm. And if you had some dark chocolate with this, you'd really um, taste the, the chocolate in the wine a little bit more. Yeah, and these little Yorkshires are delightful, Floyd. Yes. Very nice. Oh, thank you. So how long have you been at the Fox and Hounds, by the way? Oh. Um, almost nine years, I think. Oh, so you're yeah. a veteran. I guess you can call yeah, it that. <laughs> yeah, really. Things are going well there? It is. It's Good. going very well. And have you had uh, these on the menu quite long? Uh, these uh, Yorkshire uh, stuff? Yeah, Yorkshire's? I think about a year and a half now. Yeah, yep. they sell well? Yeah. They do. Oh, They're actually they do. quite popular. Excellent. Quickly, we have 30 seconds. Tell me a little bit about some of the great wines for uh, Thanksgiving. Well, um, uh, for Thanksgiving, for Turkey, um, rosés are fantastic, Rieslings, um, Gewürztraminers. We even have fruit wines, like cranberry wines, that are perfect with turkey, just like cranberry sauce is. Um, but come on into the store, and I can uh, help anybody find out find good wines for their turkey dinner. Fantastic. Information is on the screen at sahaliliquorstore.com, as well as the phone number. Linda will be happy, happy to assist you. She has lots of knowledge about wine, 851-8603. And, of course, you can find the Fox and Hounds across the way. We'll take two-minute breaks. Stay with us.